Hello and welcome to another vlog. Um, today again it's more of like a home but not home vlog. Um, today I am off to see my friend Lauren. Um, I'm sure loads of you have seen her before if you've seen previous videos on my channel. Um, she's known as Lauren Buzz, I'll link her page down below so check out her channel as well. Um, I am off to see her today, so um, lockdown has eased a bit here in the UK um, at the current time of filming this, so it is now June, um, it is June 26th today, um, and they originally said that, like, a couple of weeks ago that we could have um, a person that's living on their own can basically form a social bubble with another family. Um, but that has actually now been completely eased up um, since and um, you can now have I think it's up to six people around your house now and instead of two meters apart it's only one meter apart however Lauren has kind of been part of um, formed a, like a social bubble with me anyway so I'm off to see her today I'm actually um, off to stay around her house today so I'm going there today and staying the night and then we're spending all day tomorrow together. Um, for you that have previously seen vlogs and stuff you know that Lauren doesn't actually live that far away from me, she only lives about 10 minutes away. Um, so I'm going to hop off and see her today for some fun. Um, so let's get going. Okay so today is super warm. My car currently says it's 23 degrees today, however the forecast says it's going to be 28. So I've come prepared in my bag with all my stuff for tonight. Um, I've come prepared with like shorts and stuff as well, but I have got leggings on right now because it was actually kind of chilly. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a warm one today I think, um, which is not a bad thing at all. We love the warm weather here, never turn that down. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fun day. We haven't really got anything in particular planned. Um, for Again, for those that know Lauren's channel, um, she actually does a lot of covers of dances, especially um, like K-pop, Japanese and Korean culture. Um, she does a lot of um, covers, dance covers. So I'm currently learning one with her. Um, and it's to Blackpink Whistle. So we have actually learnt the whole dance um, and then whenever I see her, which is every Friday at the moment, I go around and see her, um, we then rehearse it together because it's a duet so there's lots of like little complicated bits um, between the two partners. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, I've brought some food with me, um, we're going to watch some Disney Plus, so I have a Disney Plus account so I'm going to log into that when I get to Lauren's and we can um, see what films there are on there because I haven't actually been on there in a long time. I've kind of been so busy that I've barely watched any TV really, I've tried to be outside in the nice weather as much as possible. So yeah, we're going to see what today brings and then as for tomorrow, I mean, we were forecast massive thunderstorms and rain today. That happened first thing this morning and then stopped completely and now the whole roadway is completely dry and the sun is shining and the temperature, literally as we speak, my temperature dial is like going up, it's now 24. Um, so it should be a really lovely day, so I'm sure we can go off and do some nice things today. Um, obviously, at this point in like the lockdown, obviously they have eased it now um but not everything is open yet so it's not like we're just suddenly going back to normal we can't just go straight back out and start going on adventures um but we might find some cool things to do and then tomorrow it is meant to rain again but if it's anything like the forecast was for today and how it's turned out i don't think that's anything to really go by so i sh should think it will be fine um so i'm sure we can do some fun stuff tomorrow as well it's nice just to break up this kind of um, weird situation being stuck at home all the time and now we're slowly coming out of it but I've made sure I've remained in contact or FaceTimed 
with Lauren up until I could see her and then up until I could see her I've then been consistent with seeing her every single week so that's really good because it gives us both something to look forward to as well um, plus we always have an absolute blast every time we're together so this is gonna be fun but yeah I'm gonna leave you there um, and I will catch up with you later on Okay, so I'm back in with Lauren. Hi. She's here. We've just been chilling out this morning. It's now about 20 past one and it is super hot. So, um, so us being us have t made the stupid decision to go out. Um, so we're gonna go to um, a local sort of like wildlife park kind of thing. Um, it's more of like a park where you can just go for strolls and everything. So we just thought we'd potter out to there, see what's about. However, um, again, we were idiots, <laughs> we were idiots <laughs> and didn't come prepared. So neither of us have sunscreen and it's meant to be 28 degrees today. Um, and it's already boiling, like I mean absolutely boiling. So we are now going to make a slight detour on the way there to go and get some sunscreen. Because if you haven't noticed, both of us are extremely pale <laughs> and burn. So we're gonna go get some sunscreen and we'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, so we've just spent like an hour sat in sat full sun um, until the hot. yeah it's so hot now it's well over thirty degrees here and we got sun cream that's good we did get sun cream at the um, supermarket thank God um, and some ice creams which we ate on the way here and then we turned up and saw that there was actually an ice cream truck already here and we were like damn it <laughs> we were like damn it so now we've decided to get up because we were just sweating sat in one spot so we're gonna go on this little nature we're trail. Go on a hike. Kind of. We didn't dress appropriately for No, hikes. we really didn't dress appropriately. <laughs> so we're gonna go on this nature trail. This is like <laughs> a nature reserve. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> turn you around. <laughs> Look at this everybody. Look. Does this not scream out? I'm a tourist. I kinda like them though. Coming from uh, you. Like, <laughs> and and coming from this one who's in like, you know Shorts that are too big. black t shirt. I know. Idiot. <laughs> So I'll show you ahead. There are some people ahead of us. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. So it's all just one like massive nature reserve. See if and we can find some nature. <laughs> yeah, we'll we see if we can nature. find some nature. You can probably hear all the crickets and stuff right now. Um, we where we Wait. were sat, it was like there was a big like stream, isn't there? Yeah. And loads of people were there swimming. like swimming and stuff, um, which is fair enough. It's one way to keep yourself cool. Yeah. I know. Um, in the winter and stuff a lot of people bring their dogs there to like swim yeah um there were a couple of dogs here it's really hot to bring dogs out in this weather guys dogs out. don't do that there because shade, but there is shade if your dog's gonna lay in the shade and have water cool but these dogs weren't they were in full sun that's not cool um so don't do that um but yeah we kind of found a spot out of the way didn't we yeah from everybody else every we like were well out of the way chilled out listen to our own music had some snacks it's just too hot to but it's too sit. hot we were literally like so not dressed for the weather um my t-shirt's dried already but this was just like wet it was but, um there's apparently some wild um horses around here so we're gonna try and find the horses yeah but nine terms out of ten i'm thinking in this weather <laughs> they're gonna be in the shade them, but, yeah but we'll see, we'll see but let's see what we can find but yeah so we haven't decided to go on a trail <laughs> in 30 degree heat <laughs> after sitting out in this for an hour already it's exercise though isn't it but it's all right the sunscreen is on it's exercise and the good thing about this is while we're walking you're getting a nice breeze so yeah. it's not actually that bad and we've got bottles of water with us yeah. so it's all good so we're just going to keep you updated as the, as this walk goes on yeah we found the horses horses everybody but it's like they've got this massive field yeah but we're just watching where they're going because um this whole nature reserve they kind of have almost free roam 
so they can walk across like the road and stuff here there are big signposts this is for usually them. closed off but it looks like a few went out that way yeah and there is plenty of shade down that end guys so don't worry they're, they're not stuck in, in full sun but we found them yay <laughs> now we're gonna follow this way keep going yeah Let's check there they are so while we're walking like down here i don't know if you can kind of see mm. it but that's all like a see. like a um, almost like a stream or oh, the rest of the stream that's where it like sort of narrows yeah. you can kind of see it here if we turn you around there oh, it yeah. is you can see it it looks quite clear down here actually um but people have obviously come on this trail and then found little spots like this and they're almost like just swimming different on their own like different however looking how steep that is compared to the height of me and lauren <laughs> if we went down there there's no way we, <laughs> we would ever get, get back. back up because we're so small we'd probably need a good step That's ladder or I something dip my feet in it, not gonna lie. yeah it's really tempting when it's that crystal clear <laughs> but i wouldn't swim and it's so hot but i wouldn't swim in it and also i wouldn't go down that steep hill because <laughs> i know that me and you would never get back up no you have to make a chain but there is a nice breeze you can kind of see because my hair's flying everywhere so there's a nice breeze but it's very hot today it's the hottest day of the year apparently for the uk yeah apparently not entirely sure on what the actual help. temperature is yeah. the last time i checked my phone it said 30. um which it's not even but normally the, the the UK temperature is normally this. what it is in the shade so in the full sun it's probably a lot hotter than that or feels a lot hotter anyway but yeah hottest day in the uk and here we are going on a nature trail <laughs> but it is going to rain tomorrow so we're getting yeah we now. decided because obviously as you saw at the start of my vlog i did tell you that i'm here for today and tomorrow um with lauren so we wanted to make the most of it um so today was meant to be nice and sunny so we thought we'd get out today and then tomorrow it's meant to rain all day so we're going to use that day to rehearse our dance that i told you about yeah um so we're going to use that day to just have an indoor movie eat snacks and rehearse day basically a do nothing so, day oh we found some shade oh jesus nice nice so yeah this is about a 20 minute trail so we're gonna i've never been on this trail lauren has i haven't <laughs> So it'll be interesting. Probably longer on a day like today. Yeah. Walking so slow. Yeah. I keep stopping to film, but it's fine. We're not in a hurry. No, and it is really pretty. Like once you get around. It's really that. pretty. So I'll show you some more of this, guys. <laughs> oh, we found this little shady spot. It's really windy. And it has like a little dip down to the stream, but that is very muddy. So there's no way we are going down there. No. But it's actually breezy. Oh, it's so nice. Super nice. And also, because you can kind of see it's a bit muddy and stuff, neither mm -hmm. of us wore fl flip flops. No. Um, so my feet are on fire. Fire. My feet are on. I oh, can't sing, you get copyright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. But we haven't seen, apart from the horses, and can hear the crickets. Yeah, this much is nature. A, this is a trail you cannot do when it's raining because the ground gets too wet. Oh, you need your wellies? Yeah, definitely. Like, this gets all, like, really, really muddy and dirty. And it's just not a good idea. Nice. But today it's fine. Today it's fine, 30 degrees. It's all good. Yeah. Shade. The shade. <sighs> we just did a very long stretch in the sun. <laughs> you can probably see it over there. <laughs> we just, just basically walk walked that. all the way around that massive field. Well, that's where the horses were. Yeah. So now we've found the shady spot. This is nice. This is a nice area. Through the gate. Beep, beep, beep. Do, do, Wait do. for lozenge. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Yay. It is so pretty in here. This is nice. And it's so quiet in here. There's like no crickets, nothing. You can't hear a thing except the trees. Bang! And Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the shame for disturbing the nature. <laughs> it's people like you. <laughs> Did it make you jump? A little bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't do it again. I might fall over. Decide. The dilemma. Which way do we go, guys? I've got left or right. I mean, the sign says this way. Well, you can go down the hill. Do you want to take the daring path or the sensible path? Right now. 
<laughs> how, how steep is this hill? It's quite steep, but it's like, I'd say it's a more adventurous route. We'll go this way. Let's do it. If we fall over, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Here. You want to take it? Yeah. Get ready, because if you fall, it's 250 quid from you've been framed. It's all right, it's not actually that steep. No. <laughs> Famous oh, last words. <laughs> Boop. That was nearly. It was stopped. not a bad. Oh well. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh here we animals. go. There's more. Oh, and we have to duck a little bit, but we are. Small. We don't. Me and Lauren are literally like five foot. Yeah. So. Just about. Well, oh, Lauren's actually oh. under five foot. So. Oh, we do actually have to, oh, duck. We have to duck. This is a first. You can get leaves in your hair. Right oh, away. hey, made it. We made could it. Literally, be in the middle of nowhere. It's fine. We'll so find our way back to that car. Going. Back to civilization. Back to civilization. Oh, now we have to climb the steep hill. Up the hill. Even in the shade, it is super warm today. Oh yeah. Oh look, we found the trail again. It's hey, fine. It's just a little bit of a shortcut. <laughs> In the shade. It was worth it. <sighs> Sometimes there's, there's the horse tracks on, on this ground where they've been. But oh, there's cool. today. We saw a couple of butterflies, but every time I tried to get my camera out in time to film it, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. So they're too fast. I am not getting a job <laughs> Are you good at photos? for National Geographic, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop, Photoshop it in. Look. And here we have no, on the floor. The Lauren <laughs> being the butterfly. Okay, now zoom in on the floor. Can you see my hand? Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> legs. Wait. There it is. Make sure my body's out of it. <laughs> it's going. This is a Loz's rendition. Nature. A butterfly. Don't know if you We're can see it. It's leading us somewhere. Super pretty. Oh, we're gonna have to duck. Duck. Oh. Down. Good grief. You can't be paying attention. Yeah. Either that, or you've got to be like two foot. Oh god. Lauren's just spotted the ponies, so we're going to just, uh, just ahead of us. detour off the track to have a look at them. There's not as many as we've got. No, I don't know where the rest of them have come. I'm trying really hard to film but not fall over at the same time. <laughs> there they are. Let me zoom in. Oh, and some crows. Oh, wow. Look at this for some nature. This really is nature. There they That's are. So they're really pretty. They must be boiling. They really must be hot. Just doing some munching. So cool. We got ice cream. We got ice cream, everybody. It's too hot. But it's literally melting as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to rush back to the car we as fast as possible. We're done, we're finished, we're now leaving. So hot. <laughs> it's been a hot one. Um, so last time you saw us, we were still on the trail. After that, right. we got back to the car. You go, sorry, I was shouting at you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really shouting at you. So last time you saw us, we had just finished the trail. Um, we got back to the car and the car was absolutely boiling. So what we did is, um, we went and got ourselves another ice cream, courtesy of Lauren. Yeah. Um, we went and got ourselves an ice cream from the ice cream van. Too many ice creams. So we many. Have to do it today. It's needed though. And we just sat and had that while we left the doors of the car open, basically, so it could ventilate a bit. Um, now we're heading um, back to um, back to the house, and um, we're gonna just chill out. It's gotten so hot now. Um, it's mm -hmm. about, what is it, five um, past four? Yeah, five past four. Um, it says the car park shuts at four where we were, but it doesn't really. Um, however, a lot of people have started to leave. We've done our trail and we're just sort of like really hot and sweaty and yucky now. We need to sit so we need to sit down in the shade um, and have a drink. So 
we're gonna see you back at home. We're back in the kitchen. Well, we're not cooking anything. <laughs> no, we're not cooking anything. Thank goodness. That's, normally we are when we're in Lauren's um, kitchen. It normally ends up in disaster. Yeah. Um, it's been a while since you've seen us. A lot has happened. Um, <laughs> so, um, oh, Lauren just played this game <laughs> on her PlayStation. And Careful not to spoil it. I mean, not that anyone's going to play it. They don't know what game it is. I haven't say, said no. what the game is. But it was so scary. <laughs> like, we both just, like... Jumped. Jumped. It's got to be a jump Every time scares. the scary bits happened, we just kept jumping. <laughs> and Lauren's trying to play this game, and she's screaming at the TV. So that was a bit traumatic um, <laughs> to finish off the day. Um, we've both just showered, got rid of all the sunscreen, and put PJs on. Um, and we've just made tea, so I'm going to show you these mugs that we got. Yeah, we so, got Lauren already had hers, and then obviously we stopped off at Tesco, and they had them still for sale. Mm, so I, I only got this got one on Wednesday. Myself one as well. Yeah. So now we have matching mugs. Ta da! Thank you. Um, and now we're gonna go and watch a film. So we're gonna watch *Yours, Mine, and Ours*. It's a really old film. film. <laughs> um, just something that's just an easy watch that's light-hearted. And then we're going to call it a night. So, we will catch up with you tomorrow. Night. Bye. There's lozenge. Night. Bye. Everybody, Lauren is here. Hello. <laughs> um, it's afternoon because this morning we've just been chilling out. Um, we got up quite early. Um, Lauren made us some pancakes, which you'll have seen because I'll have put that footage in before this. Mm -hmm. um, we made some really good pancakes, and then we've been practicing our dance to Blackpink that I was telling you about. <laughs> And then after that, the then after oh, that is this, well, we would tell you, we would show you about it. It's kind of been cleaned up. Um, so yesterday, to prove what a klutz Lauren is, um, yesterday Lauren tipped over an entire mug of tea all over her carpet. Just like kicked it. Which is literally still <laughs> soaked and we keep stepping in it. Um, and I'll then, the actually it's kind of I won't show you the carpet. <laughs> and then... Just now, after finishing our dance, okay. half a whole cup of guava smoothie <laughs> really? just went all over and the it's, carpet. It's that innocent one that's bright blue. Yeah, it's literally like bright blue smoothie. At least that one smells so nice. So shiny. But yeah, we're really, really warm. It's like dark outside. It's like so It's dark. about to hammer it down with thunder and rain. But... We've just been doing the dance back to back, so we're absolutely knackered. But yeah, we had to have a stop because somebody decided to throw, I didn't throw it another the drink <laughs> over the carpet. So half of the carpet is soaked thanks to tea and guava juice. <laughs> yeah, but it's because the window's open and it's super Don't windy. Blame the window. For some reason, the picture frame <laughs> decided to throw the drink on the floor. And Laura's reaction? <laughs> She stood there, it fell beside her, she just it. went... That's all she did. <laughs> and you're like, quick. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we should probably get some kitchen and mop that up. <laughs> so yeah, that's been our morning. Also, something really good happened, didn't it? I look very tanned. That's because that's we were sat... Yesterday. That's because we were sat on 30 degrees yesterday. Yeah. Something else really good happened. While Lauren was making pancakes, I just happened to be scrolling through my social media and saw that one of my favourite shops, um, Maple and Whiskey Candle Company, were just doing a really quick spur of the moment um, sale on some products that she'd got, like leftover. Um, and me and Lauren both wanted the Dead Men Tell No Tales mm -hmm. um, Pirates of the Caribbean themed I've Disney candle. I've since you told me about it. Yeah. And but I know how fast she sells out. Like, 
if her shop opens at 10, she'll be sold out by five past. So we were both anxiously waiting, weren't we? We're like, like, five minutes to go. It was so scary. Two like, to go. We started to get like massive anxiety packed like, in. She warm ups like, I can get them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the post until 9.50. So I literally had 10 minutes notice. Yeah. Went straight onto Etsy, kept refreshing the page until it got to 10 o'clock. By 10.01, we had we had candles, them in the we? basket so but then there was an error and you were like no yeah my paypal wouldn't work i went to pay with paypal and then it came up with an error and i was like please god no like please don't let somebody take these out of my bag mm -hmm. but it was fine i got two of them and i got one um main street popcorn one as well so happy days we did all of that by 10.01 yeah that was a successful day was so now we've got those online. coming soon mm -hmm. i'm a pro at this now i'm a pro i still want to like see how it smells it's something online that you can't do which yeah. is really weird so i'm sure in another like in the life vlog um i'll update you with those when we get them because they should be here in a couple of like, weeks basically weeks. so yeah just as you probably saw tried to film a tiktok um, it took way longer than I thought and it took way longer than we thought it took so many takes but it was really really funny so um check out lauren's tiktok channel for that one because it'll be on hello there. and happy wednesday so the last time you saw me i was around lauren's at the weekend and we were filming some tiktoks for her channel um so like I just said, it is now Wednesday. Um, on the Saturday, um, time sort of got away from us. And then I came back here, had a lot of stuff to do at home. Um, and now um, I've got a lot of deliveries that I've had throughout this week so far. And I wanted to show you what I've got. Because I thought you might be a little bit interested in some of the new things I have. Um, so I've got some deliveries to show you and also my friend Sophie um, came over to visit me today and brought me some books so I can read um, so I'm going to show you everything I've got now but first one of my first things that I have is actually what I'm wearing so I actually have this really cool tie-dye t-shirt I'll move my hair out of the way now at this current moment in time tie-dye is all the fashion it's totally come back into fashion and if you go on all the um normal fashion brands such as like boohoo um uh, misguided new look all of them they all have a big tie-dye section because it seems to have just been this kind of trend that's really taken off over this summer which i am very very happy about i absolutely love tie-dye um, I like anything that's really really colourful and that stands out and tie dye is one of those things that really does stand out so this is a perfect trend for me but it's also deadly because it means I can spend quite a lot of money um, but thankfully at this current moment in time there is a big summer sale on on most shops so I managed to get this super cheap it was about £7.50 it came from Boohoo um, the only problem with this was I also bought a flannel check t-shirt. Um, flex, uh, <laughs> words. Um, I also bought a flannel checked shirt. There we go, Emily. Um, from Boohoo as well. These were both size small and meant to be oversized. So they're obviously, um, meant to be much bigger than a size small. So thought that's fine i'll get those when they arrived i'll insert the picture in this shot somewhere um they were clearly not the same size at all i know one's a t-shirt and one's a shirt but the t-shirt was substantially small this is meant to be oversized and I don't think this is oversized at all. If anything, it's actually kind of tight around the chest area. And I'm not that big chest at all. And like around the shoulders, it's quite tightish. Um, I would say this is like 
pretty much a normal standard small t-shirt. Um, I laid it over top of the shirt as you'll have seen in this picture and you can clearly see the massive size difference. Um, this almost looks like a child, I actually thought it was a child's t-shirt when I got it out of the packaging. Thankfully I am only five foot four and very very small so I can fit into it but it's definitely not oversized. So I do shop with Boohoo regularly but this is the first time I've ever had sizing issues with items that are supposed to be sort of two separate sizes. Um, I did take a photo, the one you've seen, and send it to Boohoo and just mentioned it. Just sort of like for anybody else. Or if they maybe don't even realise. Um, and they just simply replied, it's a shirt and a t-shirt, they're two separate items. Don't necessarily agree with that because they're still meant to be two small sizes that are oversized um, so they should roughly be the same but they're not anyway they did give me the option to send them back and get a full refund however they're both products that I like I like this t-shirt it's just not as baggy as I'd have hoped for it to be but I want to keep it anyway so I have because I love the colours on it I love the camera doesn't really do this justice it's actually a lot brighter in real life than it shows on the camera Okay, so here is the flannel shirt. It's actually really, really dark green. Um, again, this lighting and this camera is not really doing it justice. It's a proper really deep emerald green, but on here it actually looks really, really light. Um, it's very, very thick, so it's, it's definitely going to be a warm shirt. And as you can see, if I pull it right out, it's really, really long. <laughs> Like really long and it's meant to be frayed at the bottom guys, that's not just how it's been cut. It's meant to be frayed but it's really long and it goes like almost down to my knees and there's little Chewy asleep. Um, this I think, oh, I honestly can't remember how much this was, I think it was about £12 but I honestly don't know. Again this came from Boohoo. What else have we got for you? Okay, so next up is this top that I got from New Look. It actually looks a lot better on than it does like here. Um, it is cropped, but I'm quite small in the body, so it actually goes quite far down anyway. This is from New Look and is a size 8. Um, it's also made with 100% organic cotton, which is great. And this was 12 99 so here, they don't look like anything much while they're here, but they look a lot nicer on. Um, these are actually um, some mum fit, um, the paper bag waist ones. So these are high waisted, but they're paper bagged, which means when they're cinched in like this, with the frills, it looks really nice with that white top. These were twenty five ninety nine. There we go. These were not in a sale, so these did cost me twenty five ninety nine, and they are a size eight. However, I'm going to point out this denim is really soft and comfortable. And then, last but not least, I got pretty much similar um, as to the jeans, but in shorts. So these are like denim mum fit shorts with the paper bag waist here. So again, I almost have like a summer and a winter version. And again, this goes really nice with that little white frilly top. But you could wear anything like vest tops or that with it. And these were $19.99. Um, I do actually have a funny feeling that I got these a bit cheaper. I think these might have been in the sale. Um, but I can't honestly think of um, exactly how much they cost. So that's it clothes wise. I have still got some other things to show you that I have managed to get in the last couple of days. It's almost like I've had no deliveries at all for the whole of lockdown um, since the beginning and now I've suddenly just ended up ordering lots of different things um, now that lockdown's coming to an end typically. So I've got a few more things to show you. So I'm going to turn you around um, over to my Disney area. So obviously you remember last time if you saw my previous vlog in May, um, I think it's the one with my dad's birthday in it. Um, I had bought the Banshee Flight candle, one for me and one for him from the Maple and Whiskey Candle Company. Um, since then we've had Father's Day and it was my mother's birthday on Monday. Um, 
I managed to get the Main Street Bakery candle. I managed to get two. So these are actually the tiny eight ounce. And these ones are the 12 ounce. So obviously, if I bring this next to it, you can see the size comparison. So these are about 11 pounds and these are about 8.95. Um, so I got the Main Street Bakery candle. I got two of those, one for myself and one for my dad for Father's Day. Then I managed to get a two Main Street popcorn. So I got one for my mum for her birthday and one for myself for my collection and last but not least I'll have to reach up and get it down because it's a lot higher I'll put it next to this one um, I got Dead Men Tell No Tales so this is the Pirate of the Caribbean rendition of their candle um, it's meant to smell like the murky waters of Pirates of the Caribbean um, I would say this one is the least similar scent to the actual place at Disney World like this definitely smells of Main Street popcorn the Banshee Fly is the is probably the most realistic scent out of all the candles I've got I say this one's the least realistic um, however it's I've only just smelt the candle with the lid off however it could be much different once it's actually burning so I'm not writing it off and it does still smell very good. So this is the Pirates of the Caribbean one. Um, you'll see at the start of this vlog when I was talking about ordering these. Um, when I was at Lauren's. So this is them. Now they have arrived. They literally arrived a few hours ago. So um, you'll know that I've ordered two of these. One for me and one for Lauren. And I'm going back over to Lauren's this Friday as well. So I will take hers for her. And I know she's super excited already because I've already sent her a photo of these. Lastly, I also have um, a couple of items um, from another Etsy shop, um, which I actually can't remember the name of. I'll have to find it, but I will tell you all about those deliveries and show you all those deliveries either at the end of this vlog if they've arrived by then or it will definitely be in my next home vlog so make sure you stay tuned so that you can actually see that stuff so also i really just wanted to show you these flowers um they turned up out of the blue on my doorstep by the postman um and they were actually from my friends so thank you very much for sending these to me guys Proper cheered me up. And roses and peonies are my favourites. Like, look how gorgeous that is. They're just so cool. And it smells amazing. I have these in my room. So, first thing in the morning when you wake up, all you smell is these beautiful flowers. So, thank you so much for sending those to me, guys. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to another day. Um, today is a Monday, I had to think about that then. Today is Monday, um, I am back in my little car spot here, my little parking spot. Um, so, if you've been watching all of this vlog, which hopefully you have if you've gotten this far, um, I normally go to Lauren's on a Friday, um, but her parents and her sister came to see her, um, all the way from Yorkshire which is really nice so they came for Friday Saturday and Sunday so instead we postponed my normal like weekly visit to today instead um, so that she could spend time with her family because she hasn't seen them in a while um, so it's about well it's now five to six um, and I'm gonna head over for the evening to see her um, and I've got her maple and whiskey candle in my bag. So at the start of this vlog you'll have seen when I was at Lauren's um, for the previous weekend, last weekend, um, uh, we I managed to, in the spur of the moment, get hold of um, some maple and whiskey candles that were released on their Etsy page. Um, at the moment because of all the lockdown and everything they're only doing like limited release so with the stock that the lady has 
so she doesn't have much of each item because she's still using up the supplies to make whatever she can um and so and i've noticed that um the supplies are going up very very quickly so like if the sale if she opens shop at 10 everything is normally gone by like 10 past like every all stock is sold out so um you'll you'll see all you'll have probably already seen all of this at the start of the of the video um but yes i managed to bag us bag myself a popcorn one which i'll have shown you already and the dead men tell no tales which is the pirates of the caribbean based one um it's meant to smell like the murky water of the ride um so obviously i managed to bag lauren one as well because pirates of the caribbean is one of lauren's favorite films um so i managed to bag her one and obviously it came last week but um because i didn't see her friday i couldn't take it to her so i thought well i might as well just hold on to it instead of going over there just to take a candle i'll just hold on to it and bring it with me on monday so i'm off to see her today um we'll probably go through our routine again because obviously we're just going to keep practicing that until we're comfortable and ready to film it for her channel um and we're just going to chill out and have a good catch up um it's really really warm in here i can literally see on the screen above you my face is slowly getting redder and redder because i highly underestimated how hot it was in this car um it's been kind of a weird day it's kind of been a day where it's been like nice sunshine and warm and then torrential rain all of a sudden out of nowhere and then sunshine and warm and then absolute torrential rain like rain where you can't see across the street so it's been a bit of a weird day i've been indoors for most of the day um i've actually started reading the hunger games um obviously i've seen the films but my friend Sophie bought me the books the other day that you'll have seen and I've started reading those. Um, I'm about three quarters, probably more than three quarters of the way through the first book and I'm absolutely glued to it. Um, but the dangerous thing about that with me is I find it really hard to put a book down once I'm glued to it and then I end up putting loads of things off. So I actually wanted to leave earlier than this. Um, but I was like, I'll just read the next bit and then the next bit, but I have to read the next bit. And then I end up being late for everything or putting everything off throughout the day. Um, it's another reason why I've got barely any makeup on. At least I've got some makeup on so I look a little bit presentable for you today as opposed to my normal bare-faced look. Um, but it's simply because out of laziness because I wanted to read my book. But I'm only seeing like all of you guys and Lauren. <laughs> So let's get going to her house, I want to go and see her, have a cup of tea, not sure how much I'm going to film while I'm at Lauren's, but if not I will update you at the end of this, so I wish I'll see you in a minute. Hello, it's another day and another shopping haul. Um, today I actually braved the city for the first time in, what was it, four months? I haven't been to the city in four months um so i braved that today um there were a couple of things i wanted to get so i think i briefly mentioned it in this vlog i don't know because this entire vlog has been filmed over the space of two weeks and i'm putting it all into one giant vlog so bear with me if i forget things hopefully future emily will edit them out um but yeah I am doing a tie-dye weekend with my friend Sophie, I think I've briefly mentioned it, um, this coming sort of Sunday and Monday, um, which will be a separate vlog for you guys. However, I needed to go up the city to go to Primark to get some like cheap little t-shirts for us to dye because I don't want to spend loads of money ordering stuff on Amazon and ordering like smart white t-shirts that are going to cost a lot of money because obviously me and Sophie are going to be chucking loads of dye on them and if they do go wrong it doesn't matter if they're only a couple of quid and also I don't want to be dyeing really expensive t-shirts so I braved it and went up the city to get us some because there's no point me and Sophie hauling up there I might as well go and get them for both of us um she's kindly purchased the dyes so it's only fair that I get us the t-shirts and stuff which is absolutely fine um so I have 
Um, I've gone up there and got two t-shirts um, a size bigger than me and Sophie are. So we are size 6 to 8. I've got us a size 10 just so it's a bit baggier on us. Um, and also if anything happens like it shrinks or something because of dye or whatever, um, it'll be fine. So I've got us those. They're really soft. Um, they were only £2 each so it's fine. If we muck them up it doesn't matter. We can always go back up there, get more t-shirts and do it another day if need be. However... I did manage to get something else um, amongst other little bits and pieces just for myself personally. I got this really cool t-shirt. Now this is going to look massive. It is massive. Um, I'm just straightening it out so you guys can see it properly. So let me show you. Turn you round. Look at this. Can you see it? So it's, and you're probably like, oh is that it? It's a plain black Disney Pixar t-shirt. Um, this was eight pounds. If it will zoom in, and it's from the Primark Cares range. They've now produced this Primark's Cares range, which means it's made with organic cotton, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, now you can see this on my bed is absolutely massive, but it is an extra small, and it says they're an extra small, and it even says in the label extra small size six to eight but you'll notice it says look on the back and this is why i got this look at this look how cool this is i love it it's like proper like a 90s and this is the like iron-on print so this will come off eventually when you wear it a lot it'll stretch and crack and it will eventually come off but I couldn't resist getting this because I loved it especially that's got up on it and Sully like my some of my favorite characters so I thought I would show you that that was eight pounds and then finally I didn't get these today these came a, a couple of days ago from new look um obviously I told you I got those um paper waist mum fit jeans um i literally just ordered myself a normal pair as well because i loved the feel of them and how baggy they are so i just ordered myself a pair of those as well so i am going to see lauren this friday even though i went around on monday too um i didn't film much of me with lauren um so she really loved her candle she was really, really excited about it and then we actually just spent the evening having a big catch up um and like watching some tv so there wasn't really much to show you guys um i am off there friday um i may film what we're up to on friday and put it in this vlog um but if not i will see you in the next video please give this video a good thumbs up and please make sure you hit that subscribe button bye guys